Hey, it's your best boy Chris Mar and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. And of course, gusto ko lang sabihin na miss na miss ko na kayo and mahal na mahal ko kayo. I really do appreciate you guys talaga. All the support you're giving me, all the love. Maraming maraming salamat. And alam ko excited na kayo ng sagot sa katanungan niyo. So, hindi ko na papatagalin. Let's jump right at it. Okay, well, let's get it on. I'm gonna answer the questions you've asked me. Alam ko ng hindi natin kayo makapagantay, so here it is. Here is an interesting question. One fandom is calling you Amnesia Boy, because you suddenly have a new feeling towards a certain housemate after you leave the house. What's your take on that? Ako naman guys, wala ako ng pinupush. My point is, I appreciate the people behind the ships, behind the solids, talaga. And yon, walang naman ako pinupush. Ina appreciate ko lang yung mga tao behind it. And hindi naman nagbago yung feelings ko. Nag na appreciate ko lang kayo. Andrea once said to Ali and Tamika that she's comfortable with you, as both of you have a lot of similarities, which made her to easily click with you. However, she suddenly felt disconnected with you. What do you think is the reason of the disconnection? So I believe it was the task about uh, me and Andrea teaching. I was the task leaders to offer uh, to teach them the dance, na ice cream, yan. And uh, ako naman, I'm not really a dancer. Well, Andrea is really, really good. She's amazing, talaga. She's fantastic at teaching and of course dancing. So it was really hard for me because I was pa yung sarili ko while teaching the boys and. Yon umu umiyak pa siya so I was super na ilang ng time na yon na hiyad din ako sa kanya so yun lang naman. What can you say to the guys out there that is having or have had depression? And what can you say about the stigma regarding that? All I can say is that we should look after each other because depression is a serious matter. We shouldn't take it lightly. If you always check on your friends, guys, on your family members, it doesn't mean they have a smile on their face, they're laughing, that they're really happy, that there is really joy in their life. So you should always check on that and notice the simple, you know, and just try to reach out to them to help them, to talk to them, because that is really a big thing for them already. And about the stigma, let's not take depression lightly, guys. It's a serious matter. So check out your friends, your families, and everyone po na nakakasalamuhan nyo. And this is another question. As a fan, I am just curious of how you reacted the very, very first time. Grabe. Double, dalawang very. You knew you have a fan base here in the house, outside world, that supports you so much. Of course, grabe. Because you know, it's really, it really hits you in in a good way. The support that you give to you, because all you did was be yourself, and there are people who really appreciate you. Yeah, you're not perfect. You've done mistakes, and you've you've just done yourself. You just do you. I just did me, and people appreciated me, and I was just so surprised of the fan base that I have right now. Especially na two weeks ako na save sa bahay ni kuya, and that really made me feel so great. So thank you, thank you for everyone. Next up, how would someone get your special attention? Aha, uh -huh. there isn't really a you know formula to get my special attention or to get my attention. You know, you just have to be yourself. You ha just have to be confident in yourself. And hindi naman ako nangangagat. So yun la. What do you bring most to a friendship? Okay, so I have a lot of friends talaga. Kasi I've been through a lot of places there. I have friends that I haven't seen in six years and then when we meet, it was just like nothing happened. And the most I can bring in a, in a friendship is that I can assure you that I will always be your friend as long as you consider me to be your friend too. Because even distance and time will never separate or will never ruin our friendship because I have experienced it firsthand and it is amazing, guys. Next up, What's the one thing you cannot live without? Of course, it is my family and friends because no matter how strong you are alone, no man is an island, I tell you that. What is something that most people learn? For me, it's trying. So just keep trying, guys, because you'll never know what will the outcome be. So just go along. You'll never know if it's gonna be your big break or something. Hello, what do you prefer? 
learning from others or learning from your own mistakes? I don't know guys, it's a bit of both. I mean, it's actually both because you can learn from others so that you won't repeat the same mistakes they did. It's actually a free learning, you know? Kasi kung aantayin mo pa na ikaw pa yung magkamali, edi sayang naman yung pag, pinagdaanan nila kung pagdadaanan mo ulit. Sinabi na nga nila sa'yo na uh, don't do this, don't do that because you're, you're making a mistake and everything. So, you know, it's a bit of both talaga. The important thing is that you learn and you grow. No matter how many mistakes you do, no matter how many mistakes is done upon you, you just grow. You just grow talaga. Message to all who got invalidated. Alam nyo guys, no matter what you feel, no matter um, what you think, it's valid. It's always valid because you feel it. It's within you. Okay? I'm not saying that it's right, that it's always right, but it's valid. Because it's something na nararamdaman mo sa sarili mo. So never let anyone invalidate you because you are valid. What's your favorite motto? Please answer this. Okay. Of course, my favorite motto is be yourself, always be yourself while being better. Yun lang naman. Kasi, you know, you can never be perfect. You can never be perfect. But you can be yourself. And you can be open-minded at the same time to being better. How's life before PBB? Before PBB, I didn't have a Twitter account. <laughs> My IG was is so boring. I, I tell you that. My IG was so boring and I didn't have social media life back then. And then now, you know, I've got all the love and I appreciation I don't even deserve. Kaya mahal na mahal ko talaga kayo eh. Next, what is your me time? My me time is sitting, listening to music, watching series, yun lang. Just doing all the stuff, thinking talaga. Sometimes I walk and you know, listen to music and just think about everything or just you know, distract from myself from distractions. Just to you know, uh, have parang have peace. Peace of mind is actually really good. I really suggest it for you guys. You should really try it. Kasi ako mahilig talaga ako maglakad. And I love walking while listening to music. You just think of a lot of stuff. You just realize it. It just calms you down talaga. Tips on how to be confident. Never be afraid to fail. Never be afraid to make mistakes. And just be yourself. Just learn from it. Hindi din yung be yourself na hindi ako to eh. Ganto talaga ako. I'm, kunwari, may ibang tao kasi na hindi mat- masama na talaga ako. Ganto na talaga ako. So that's what you call na close-minded na tao. And we shouldn't be like that. We should always be open for improvement. Or most of the time, criticisms helps us grow. We're not all criticisms are meant to be heard. Oh, here's another intriguing question. One of the reasons of you being nominated was your closeness to a certain housemate. Ah, ko na to. <laughs> Which suddenly led for the other housemates to feel disconnected on you. What can you say about this? Okay, um, for me, it's not... Uh, my closeness to this certain housemate isn't the reason why I, I was somehow disconnected with the others. Or kaya ako mas close dito sa taong to. It's just that out of 177,000 who auditioned in a PBB, only 12 of us got in first, di ba? We all came from different places, cultures, talagang iba yung pinagdaana namin, iba yung personalities namin. And then you find this one person na kasundo mo talaga. So for me, it's not about me choosing to be disconnected on the other housemates or me choosing this people na makakonek ko lang. But it's about yung magkasundo kami eh. Magkasundo naman kaming lahat. It's just that, mas kasundo ko tong taong to sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. So, eto guys. Anytime po ba, pwede kayong maligo sa pool. Of course naman, pwede maligo sa pool. Basta wala kayong task. Kitang-kita nyo naman siguro ako sa live stream. I mean, I don't know kung ano yung mga na-air. Hindi ko pa napapanood lahat. Pero, yeah, I... I jump right at the pool pag wala kaming ginagawa, pag walang task and wala kaming, hindi kami tinatawag ni Kuya. Ito guys, grabe. Super interesting ng tanong niya. Nakaka-intriga talaga. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sabi niya, do you have foreign blood? <laughs> okay. So ako po guys, I'm a pure-blooded Filipino from 
what I'm aware of. Talaga, may parents are both Cebuano. Mga Bisaya po kami. Uh, dili lang ko ka-istorya o daghan, pero kasabot ko. Uh, naintindihan ko po talaga siya fully. Most memorable experience in your childhood? Siguro ito yung times na me and my friends would always go out to um, to do cycling on bike trails kasi there's this military camp in Manila that has a bike trail back then. I don't know if it's still there. Pero we would always go there on weekends and it would be just so it, it would be just fun talaga kasi super liit pa namin noon and we're we're riding this really big mountain bikes it's really fun and then another one is every time me and my dad would watch history on TV, on television kasi it we would like stay up all all night long until 4 a.m. talaga just to watch and talk about it and analyze. We were we we're just really fond of, you know, wars and everything. Pero hindi naman po kami masasamang tao. <laughs> Sadyang, it's just something that we love, we are interested to watch. Ito, uh, Chris Moore, nagkagusto ka ba talaga kay Mika? Yung sa bahay kasi ni Kuya ako, I just try and appreciate everyone talaga. And kami ni Mika, we're really great friends talaga. And I just... Really appreciate her. I mean, she is lovely, masipag, and mabait, de ba? Wait lang, wait lang. Hello. Okay, guys. Uh, sige, uh, thank you for watching this. If you, if nagustuhan nyo, uh, like and subscribe. Please follow me sa IG Chris Marmen Chavez and sa Twitter at underscore Chris Mench. Uh, yun lang. May tumawag kasi sa akin eh. 